Dozens of grade three and four students at Willow Grove School recently spent the afternoon having their minds expanded with experiments designed to show them the ways their brains work and how they can be fooled. The presentation, provided by the Saskatoon Health Region's Brain Injury Outreach Team, is designed to not only show what our brains are capable of, but also the importance of protecting them. There's a lot of injuries that happen due to preventable things. So something as simple as wearing your helmet and having a properly fitted helmet can reduce your risk of injuries by 85% when you're riding a bike. So it's pretty huge to teach kids how to get the right ones. Helmets of all shapes and sizes were brought in by the students to ensure they fit correctly. No matter what activity they are being used for, there are a few basic rules when it comes to getting the fit right. It has to be two fingers um, forehead, um, the V, and it has to be snug on your ear, and a one finger chin strap. Almost a thousand students in this age range in Saskatoon have received the training since the Brainwaves program was launched here get them into the habit of wearing their helmets when they're young and hopefully they'll continue those helmets when they're older and start engaging in those risky behaviors when you're like 14 years old and start doing the tricks and stuff like that. Kwasmi says kids aren't the only ones who need this information. There also has to be a societal change. She believes attitudes have started to shift and hopes the trend will continue. Given something like snowboarding and skiing, the laws and rules at Hills have definitely changed over the last couple years. When I was growing up, and I'm not the huge stretch from younger people, um, it wasn't a thing. And now if you go on a ski hill or a snowboarding hill, you see helmets everywhere. For Go on Shaw TV, I'm Simon Hyatt. No.